I thought it would be kind of interesting to read some of these letters, okay? So, um, this one says May of 2011, and I went December 2010, so let's try to find one around um, that time. So many letters, okay? So, okay, here's one, April 2011, 11. 11 it's gonna be really interesting to see these letters if I could find one in 2010 would be or January of 2000 <laughs> oh my god okay so here's one it's dated February 9th 2011 and I, I drew this picture that's funny little girl holding a little boy that's funny right so anyway oh my god this is a thick one this must be the serious letter, okay? Because I wrote them some serious letter, right? So it's gonna be funny, probably. It's gonna probably be sad. But so many of them. Thursday, January the third. Oh my god. Okay, you guys. Okay, listen. Okay. Dear Mr. Miles, talk to me, baby. How are you really doing? I know you've been doing a lot lately with checking the kids in school and moving and all. I know you can't wait until this weekend for a Super Bowl. I hope you get um, to relax and enjoy it. I hate that I'm going to miss it. I hate all of this. I just, the last few days I've been feeling really sad, lonely and afraid. I know I'm not supposed to be afraid, but I don't know what happened I think it has a lot to do with Monique and everything she said and knowing that I'm actually going to prison. I thought that I was okay with everything, but for some reason I've been down lately. Feeling really sad and crying a lot. I don't know. I'm just sad. Oh my God. I don't know. I'm just sad. Sad about leaving school. Not being able to continue the life I had outside. I've been thinking about everything I can't have and I am just sad. It hurts so bad to know that I will not be free for four or five years. I'm sorry, baby. I'm trying to be strong, but it's killing me. I try and make the pain go away by reading my Bible and it helps, but dang. Lately, I've been down. I think about not being able to get through fire camp. Ooh, I'll tell you guys about fire camp. Um, and that scares me. Everything scares me. Sometimes I think I'm going to lose it. It's taken days to write this letter because I start to cry and too many people are around me to be crying. I miss my baby so much. I hate seeing babies on TV and hate hearing people talk about babies. <laughs> this is the worst pain ever. Every time I think I'm okay, then all of a sudden I realize that I'm not okay. Here I am, here I am at 9 p.m. and I realize this is place is making me upset. Also, I can't take this anymore. It's driving me insane. These ladies will not be quiet and and we we are always getting in trouble every night i just want to cry it's like living with 150 people in your house and there's all out of control and you can't get them to be quiet i can't take it it's driving me crazy i'm starting to feel I'm starting to feel um, closed in and I need to get out. I'm panicking and don't know what to do. I know I should pray. I do that. Well, anyway, this is the third day writing this letter and I haven't cried today, but I'm still full of anxiety and my chest hurt. I talked to you today and you said I'm scared of the unknown and maybe, maybe, but I don't know how to help myself with that. All I know is that I'm not feeling good and I want out. I know I'm stuck, but whatever, whatever. Can you try to help me? Tell me something. I think I'm um, leaving Tuesday. Right back and talk to me about what I, I talked to you about.
in my letters. Love you. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. That was very emotional for me. It's kind of like a reminder, kind of like go back and remembering what I went through. And this was January the 3rd. Oh, my God. This was early in during the time that I went because, remember, I went December the 23rd. So this was just a few days later. Um, here.